Well, thousands of people are commemorating the 1963 March on Washington. Decades later, rallying for racial justice amid growing protests across our country. Mary Jo Ola reports Wisconsin got a lot of attention. Today's events brought people back to the National Mall to demand change and action. It seemed the recent shooting of Jacob Blake was on the mind of so many speakers, among them George Floyd's brother. I have to advocate for everybody, man, because right now, Jacob Blake, I'm feeling it's hard just to talk right now, shot seven times, man, with his kids. That's painful. A Kenosha police officer shot Blake in the back. Blake remains hospitalized as his family brought their message to D.C. 57 years after Blake's own grandfather joined the first march. My father was in town for the first march on D.C. I have a duty. I have a duty to support and understand each one. I love everybody in this crowd. I love you. Black America. I hold you accountable. You must stand. You must fight, but not with violence and chaos, with self-love. The Blake family was joined by relatives of Joel Acevedo and Dontre Hamilton, two other Wisconsin families impacted by police actions. I'm tired. My, my, my grandsons ain't going to be marching for the same stuff my granddaddy marched for. Milwaukee community organizer Frank Nitty also spoke after he and others spent weeks walking from Wisconsin to the nation's capital. He urged activists to come together. We're not going to have our kids marching. This is it. We've been marching for the same stuff for 60 years. Black people shouldn't be marching for the same stuff Martin Luther King was marching for. I'm tired. I'm tired. And I'm tired of asking for justice. I just wanted to stop. Many speakers also encouraged people to vote, saying that right is part of the path to change. Mary Jaola, TMJ4 News.